Mbolani Dumelangi Abushengi Hello Nda Mida I am Tom Star. I'm here in Machisa Mida Project where we learn all about culture. This is culture to you to where we go all to learn about our culture. I'm talking about beliefs, wisdom, tradition and hey, don't forget if you want to learn more, catch us on. We have our Facebook page which is Machisa Mida Project, Instagram Machisa Mida Project, our YouTube where you get to like, comment and subscribe. Still Machisa Mida Project. And we will see you after the break where we're gonna be having our special guest which is Iris. Yeah, welcome back. If you just came in, you just tuned in to Machisa Mida Project. We haven't started yet. You're gonna learn more about the colored culture. Yes, I said it before that we have a risk to explain more, to tell us more about the culture of you. Iris! Oh, she looks like so too. You will never believe that she's a color there. But yes, they are that color. Iris, how are you? Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Mira. 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 Good, good, good. Iris, before we go more fair, please. Who is Iris? Tell me about yourself. And tell us about yourself. Who is Iris? Okay, thank you very much for welcoming me here to explain more about my culture. So Iris is a kind person who was born in Kimberley, basically come here in Tembisa there for four years, studied in Johannesburg, finding this place more interesting having more friends, friendly people. So that is why today I'm here with Tomstar. And I'm very happy to be interviewed today. Yeah, at least, as you know, more people, when they are being introduced to Joyce, mm -hmm. I always say this, I always emphasize this. They forget about their culture. They only go back to their culture whenever they are in trouble. But before we go there, Iris, is there any meaning about the name Iris in your culture? What does it mean? Yeah, there is a meaning. Yeah? My name is basic from when I was born. My great great grandmother, you can say today, a, he was a traditional leader. So, when they gave me the name, they said I'm um, the inner eye who can see beyond yeah. each and everything that will happen in the future. That is why I was given the name Iris. Iris. So, as if we can see something that will happen in the future. Do you so what I was going to say in future? The question I'm going to ask in future. <laughs> I always don't lie. I could tell. Yeah. I could tell. But if I see something, I can tell you. Yeah. That's not just a name. Yeah. It's my ancestor's name. Your ancestor's name. Yeah. Okay. At least, quickly, before we go into due to wisdom, tradition, beliefs, let's talk about the simple thing. People that, especially children that we have to know, especially children who are in modern school, mm -hmm. in the school, mm -hmm. you can even see. But they might want us. Mm -hmm. Some of them are struggling about Africans. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know in apartheid era, it was introduced mm -hmm. in 1976 by the black people fought for, fought for the door as Sky Zahara. That's why today we are so free. But still, you need to learn Africans. You need to learn all languages because you never know you will get a job to another land, you will get a job to. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, Take me to the number so that if you children, if you're watching, this is the right opportunity to know the numbers in Africa, but you can do it up until 10. Okay. Right? I'm gonna read you, you're gonna see after me. Okay. Right? All right. One, yeah. two, Two. three, three, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, seven eight, 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 nine, nine, nine ten, 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 nine, yeah. Eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, eight, four, 
three, two, one. Yes. Iris, I can try to stop you from sitting on the chair. <laughs> so my director has been hearing me on my ears, it's been irritating me saying, okay. stop! You get what I'm saying? Okay, so, stop. we're gonna go to days of the weeks. Yeah? Okay. As I say, kids, this is the right opportunity. This is the right opportunity. Monday. Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday, eh? In Africans. Yeah. Okay, can I do it myself? Yeah. This Monday. Yeah. Seven days, eh? Yeah. This Monday. Monday. And then, so my Africans, ne? I have been learning African because I'm not basic in Africans, eh? Yeah. But I will try it by all means. Yeah. It's Monday. Mm -hmm. Tuesday I will skip. Wednesday. That woman, he's robbing us. <laughs> Are you a real color? Yeah. Then that woman. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, let me explain to you. Mm -hmm. There are two kinds of colors. Mm -hmm. The sands. I'm so interested in them. Yeah, the sands are not like colors. Mm -hmm. The sands, they have uh, real African hair. Yeah. Usually we relax, but the real colors they have the real white hair. Yeah. That's why those ones were colors mm -hmm. because it's white and a black. Yeah. They are combined. Mm -hmm. So we sense we are not the real colors, but we fall under one culture. Mm -hmm. We fall under one culture. Yeah. The reason why I'm saying this, I'm trying to explain the thing that happened to the apartheid era, the slavery from the 1886. Mm. The reason that there were two basic of two people, but they are colors, we are all colors. Mm -hmm. The sons were basic from Kimbali mm -hmm. in Botswana, not the Kimbali in South Africa, in Botswana. Mm -hmm. So the other colors, they are from here in South Africa, based on slavery, when they were put by the Dutch Indians yeah. in South Africa. Yeah. So we are the original, because our hair are like Africans. Yeah. We were born and bred here in Africa. Yeah. We are not mixed culture. Yeah. The other part that is mixed culture, those are from the whites and basically from the blacks. That is why there are two different of colors. And our beliefs, if I could go further, our beliefs are not the same. Are not the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those who have the white hair, they are basic from the Muslim side. Muslim side. Yeah. Those who do not eat meat. Yes. And our culture, as the sense, we are like more basics on black. We do eat meat. Some would say that we were born eating like spring work. Of which, yes, it's true. We were eating, our ancestors were eating spring work, uh, ostrich. And when we were healed, we were using our great 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 grandfathers, they were using aloe to heal many kinds of diseases. Yeah. Not only those we say today, it only heals high blood and some diseases here yeah. in South Africa. Yeah. Allo it's based on seven different diseases. It's high blood, it's cancer, eye problem, breast cancer, uh, when you don't have fertilization. Six, when you don't grow hair, yeah. and the last one is so important. It's only healing the skin problem. Yeah, that's all that I know. So, before you go into the games, can I? I know it's a sensitive, sensitive question. Okay. Can I quickly ask this one in class? Is it true that? The white people from Dutch, when they came to Khoisan 
On that, I could say yes, I could say no, but basically on the history, mm -hmm. yes, it was, it was, but they were mixed question and place mm -hmm. on Africa, into Africa, the whole of Africa. That one I could answer like that because colors were based from like when they were taking slaves. Yeah. They were taking slaves from Congo. They came Tanzania yeah. up in Africa down here in South Africa. Some of the Africans they were taken yeah. deported in America, Asia and India. Yeah. yeah. That's why I think so. So, is there any favorite sport that is most important to have? Yes, and that one is most important. Mm -hmm. Colors like rugby. Mm -hmm. They like cricket. That's the only two sports that are good sports for now. Even, um, um, Chess. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like chess. I mean, now is not the most things to sell because mm -hmm. there is still a bunch of town where you get to see color. There is also for me. There is also this team, Cape Town City team. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because color are also based on Cape Town. It seems like I'm forgetting them. No. I didn't forget that because today in South Africa, we are all free yeah. to do lots of sports. Yeah. So. Due to soccer, yes, I could say that, but mm. they, in general, mm. colors are like white, boots, yeah. they mm. like happy and yeah. 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 So, it seems like you went mm. too deep to English. Can you please speak in Africans for in color and translate with English? Can you do that? I could try. You could try? Yeah. Please. Uh, after the game, can you please, let's quickly go through the tradition. In a traditional wedding, what are the protocols and procedures need to be done during the marriage organization, during the marriage preparation? Okay. Firstly, I could say due to the marriage. Um, I never, can I speak a little English? Then I will okay. translate it after that. Okay. We don't have the Lobola tradition, uh, like all flags. Uh, no, you just engage. Engage? Yeah. You it's engage. not being a color. You just engage before you get married, man. Mm. There's no, like, cows. Yeah. There's no such thing as, as cows, you have to go there. Well, maybe a man in the envelope, this is not the security, there's no... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Basic on colors. Yeah. Unless it's a mix. My mother is a color, or my father is a color, my mother is African. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's when my mother will take the colored culture and put it aside and introduce by here way. That's when you won't pay the water. But if you are only colored, yeah. you won't pay the water. Yeah. Engagement ring and part. Throw mm -hmm. a party, that's it. So there are two questions I'm going to ask. Okay. There are two similar questions but different. Okay. So when the baby is being born by a married people, how does the baby be introduced to the two families, to the husband and wife? We are still in tradition, remember. Okay. That is one that well, that one I can exactly explain. You have to learn. I can't because it's a secret in some other way. Okay. It's a secret. Yes. But since when you are, let me just be free. Mm -hmm. We're in culture of the question when the baby is born. Due to that time, not now. The baby one is born, whether it's a girl or boy, 
they were taken that way from birth when the mother was out of play. After some few hours, that baby, they will take her out, go to the river, wash that baby. Then after, they take the ostrich egg, the ostrich egg, the arrow, they will wash, then after moisturize the baby. Yeah. The arrow is interpreted as the good luck charm for the baby. And the ostrich egg, that is why I was not supposed to say It's fine, it's a key, it's a key. Yeah, so, let me, let me, let me explain that. The ostrich egg neutralizes the fertilization of the baby when it's going up. They know how they do it. That's the only way that I could say that. That's the only way that you could say Yeah. Bye. Remember I said, is a similar question but different, right? If the baby has been born by unmarried people, people who are not married basically, how does the baby bring to juice? The baby, to the girlfriend and the girlfriend. The baby, baby. let me say, the, the parents of the, kid, of the child, hmm. they are going to be chased out of the child. Yeah. Because they are not married. Yeah. So basic on the they say it was disrespecting having a child who are not married. Yeah. The families are they don't know each other. Yeah. It's like behaving. So it's a it's a, it's a shame. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah, yeah. It's a shame. Yeah. So when that thing happened, they will chase us out. Yeah. Even the baby, and the baby somewhere, somehow, they were going to take that baby and the baby was going to be fed to the lions or the hyenas. Oh! Yeah. Ah. Uh, no, it doesn't work in right? Yeah. That is not good. Yeah. Woo! So, I like food. And I like food. You know, terms that now food we all reason. Can you please keep it, take me to the food? What are the traditional food? Okay, basically, that's all the yeah, yeah. Let me say on the marriage preparation. Okay. What do you call it? Fellas like fish, mm -hmm. they like red meat. Yeah. All in all, they like pap. Some of will like pap sap and poiki kos. Poiki kos will mix all the ingredients like rice, fish, veggies, all in at once. Mm. The after we will fry. That's all that they like. We fry the rice with fish at one time. And cook. Yeah. And cook. That's like Ghanaian food. Yeah. Like, uh, what is this rice? The great fried rice. Mm -hmm. Some other guys they call it jollof. Uh -huh. They used to eat jollof. Yeah. They used to eat the red motion uh, production. Okay. Yeah. So, do you have any traditional beer on the coast? Traditional beer basically it's Mahula. Mahula? Yeah. Amahula or Mahula? Amahula. You say it is Amahula. Yeah. You say it's Amahula. Yeah, Mahula. Yeah, they will basically they will take the, the, the fruits. Mm -hmm. The after they will peel yeah. the skins, the after they will take the inside food, put it in like in the packet. Yeah. Yeah, the after pour water they will close. Yeah. And after a couple of weeks, not days, weeks, yeah. they will take out those um, seeds of the marula and throw it out. The beer it's made. It will be boiling by the time. Boiling by the time. It will be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to be drunk. So no sugar added. So remember in the olden days there was no there was no sugar. Yeah. yeah. There's no even sugar cane. <laughs> Not in the same side. Yeah. The same side they only we only introduced to sugar cane like now, yeah. now, 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 now. Yeah. yeah. There was a Zulu dance, Zulu music, Zulu. Is there any traditional music or dance in, in, in our culture? Yeah, 
Yeah, the cookie. Cookie tents. Cookie tents. Yeah. Cookie. Yeah. So you said there are two different kinds of color, right? Mm -hmm. How does it differ? The different today, the question they do the cookie test, mm -hmm. more like the three and a half the five. A half the five after dinner. Yeah. I know. Uh, uh, so uh, yeah, after dinner, after the feast <laughs> and everything. Then yeah. after the second culture of colors, mm. then you know, you almost know, everyone knows that the color trends. Culture, they dance almost the classic dance, yeah. in the Buddhist dance. Yeah. 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 It seems like they have said a lot about culture. Okay. So, the beliefs. The beliefs. Should we take you to the beliefs? What do culture, what do, what do color beliefs do? What is the beliefs of the color? Because in Zulu, it was a traditional view, it was a traditional doctor. So, I would like to know about because I know they are deeply in special question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, deeply in the culture, color to, uh, like culture and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do have some traditional pillars. Mm -hmm. Like I said, from way back, yeah. traditional pillars they are there. Yeah. I won't hide it. Mm -hmm. Doctors will hear me. Like now, but what I could say, the sense are more rich yeah. and very fair people when coming to healing. Yeah. Because they know their plants, they know their roots, they know the soil, they know the water that could heal people. Yeah. Not that they will just emphasize by saying this plant could heal this thing. Yeah. They know, yeah. they know, they are not taking any chances. Chat you and don't forget to catch us again on Monday, same time, same place. I'm Tomster. I'm here, you there, you there, I'm here. Havash.